What is up guys, Sammy's Tech Help here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download MovieBox permanently for your iOS device. Now, there's a lot of bugs and issues if you don't download it the correct way, and if you have downloaded it before in the past, you know what I'm talking about. It'll crash, and sometimes it won't even download at all. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get it safely and easily and never crash. I've had this for a long time now, and so far it has not crashed at all, not once. The app continues to open and works perfectly fine and it's awesome. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so real quick, I just wanted to mention that this for sure does work on iOS 8 and 9. I have tested it on both iOS 8 and iOS 9. I'm not sure about anything earlier than that. Uh, it might work. You're going to have to just try that for your own device and maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start with the tutorial. Alright, so first thing you want to do is you want to navigate over to Safari and install iOS EMUS. The uh, link's going to be first link in the description below, so just go ahead and click on that and open it on your device. Next, it will bring you to install this install profile page, and you're just going to want to go ahead and press that big blue install button. If you have a passcode on your device, it's going to go ahead and ask you uh, to put that passcode in real quick. And don't worry, this is completely safe. Even though it is an unsigned profile, even signed ones can be sketchy, so don't worry about it, guys. This is 100% safe. It's going to go ahead and press that red install button again, and the profile will install. Once you're done, just go ahead and press that Done button, and then the Home button. And now you have iOS EMUS. Next, you guys will just want to go ahead and open it up. And you're going to want to let it load. There's the little uh, buffering icon right next to the Wi-Fi, and if you haven't opened it before, it's going to go ahead and need to buffer for a while. So uh, once that is done, you can go ahead and proceed on to the next step which is uh, press that little download icon right next to the home icon and just scroll right on down to apps and games. Once you're under apps and games, scroll all the way down until you see movie box. And then just press that little install button right there. And if you're running iOS 9, it's going to make you uh, trust the user before it will let you open the app. So once it downloads, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty guys, now that it's loaded, you're just going to want to go ahead and press on the MovieBox icon and it's going to tell you, if you're running iOS 9, Untrusted Enterprise Developer and give you basically a message telling you that it will not open until you trust this developer. If you're running iOS 8, there's just going to be a little trust button. You're just going to press trust and it'll let you go right into the app, but it's a little bit different on iOS 9. So you just want to go ahead and head over to Settings. Then you want to go to General. Scroll down to Profiles and Device Management, and then under Enterprise App, you should see Show City Green Investment, and you just want to press Trust Show City Green Investment. And you want to also go ahead and press the red Trust button, and MovieBox will work now. So you just go ahead, scroll back over, and tap on MovieBox, and it will uh, process basically all the movies and update the MovieBox app. And once it is done doing that, it will go ahead and throw us right onto the MovieBox homepage. So yeah guys, this is a uh, full MovieBox as you can see here. It has all the movies, you, all your tabs and stuff. And it works 100% and it won't crash and there's no issue. Now, uh, I will be doing a follow-up tutorial for if you have sort of maxed out your MovieBox uh, crash limit, so to speak. Or basically you've downloaded it. It's crashed, you've deleted it, you download it again, and it crashed, and now it will no longer let you download it. So this is an issue I experienced on my iPad, and I have a fix for this. So go ahead and leave a comment and drop a like if that is something you would be interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. But most importantly, guys, have a great day.